Hey guys, missed me? Hey, it's Drew, and I'm here to do an unboxing video of some QVC packages. I got five packages today from QVC. I'm getting seven tomorrow, so there'll be tons of videos. And anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not even sure what each one is. I mean, I know what I ordered, but I don't know which one, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Now, I've mentioned that I love the Ed on Air collection from QVC, which is um, Ellen Design stuff for, um, Ellen DeGeneres Design stuff for QVC, and it's really, really exciting, and her stuff is amazing, so 90% of this stuff is from Ed on Air, well, except the first item. Isn't that how it works? So, the first item is clean, warm cotton. So, here that is right here. And let's go ahead and open this up. Now, Clean is a brand. Um, I believe it's at Sephora now. And all their perfumes are basically, 90% of them are unisex. But they're all based on Clean. Uh, hence the name. This one's Warm Cotton. It also came with a five-piece layering rollerball kit, which includes air, cool cotton, a small size of warm cotton, fresh laundry, and rain. So as you can tell, those are very, very, very um, cool fragrances that you can layer. So they all have to do with air, you know, very, very, very fresh. And the big Eau de Parfum that I got was in warm. Now, I've never smelled this before, so I'm not sure what to expect, so we'll smell it together. I love the bottles, like they're so pretty. Um, looks like this, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, like an ombre um, type of pattern. Let me go ahead and spray it just on a card because I'm wearing perfume already. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Okay, now if you're thinking clean cotton from Bath and Body Works, You'd be similar, because it's like, it's very clean, but there's warm notes. Um, there has to be some sandalwood in here and other things, because if not, let me see. It doesn't say on here, but there's definitely like sandalwood or something warm, because it's literally warm cotton. It smells super fresh. I could definitely see myself wearing this when I'm running out doing something. Don't want to have a huge heavy fragrance, or if I'm going around a lot of people, that'll be close. I'm going on a bus, you know, or something like that. Like, I go to New York City all the time on a bus. So this would be a scent that I would wear there. So still smell fresh and clean. There's definitely one, like, a shower scent that I'd like to try, too. This one's called Skin. I don't know. It's really, really yummy. And I believe that was $69 for the big Eau de Parfum, which is 2.14 ounces, as well as five five milliliter roller balls, which is it's pretty good value for Eau de Parfum. And um, I also bought a big bottle of rain too I didn't film that but I bought rain and it lasts all day and the rain is really nice it does smell just like fresh rain it's crazy next now I think we're getting into the candles how have you guys been it's finally fall my favorite time of year nope wow I thought this was gonna be 90% Ed on air but it's not it's from another one of my great beauty brands that I love, Tatcha. Now, Tatcha, they had a one-time only value, which included, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It included four deep hydration lifting masks, which actually are paper masks that you peel off and they look like your face. They're supposed to give you really great hydration. And these were really expensive, so it was good to get it in the one time only value. And this is the main reason why I wanted it, is the Ageless Enriching Renewal Cream. And it looks like this. Now, Tatcha, I love Tatcha. I just got their Camilla Beauty Oil. I use their cleansing oil as well as all their products mainly, and they're just fantastic. Like, they make your skin awesome. They are pricey, so I, I don't like to use them all the time, but when I do, it's a luxury. And, um... And then it looks, I mean, their packaging's just exquisite. I love their packaging. And this is basically like a facial moisturizer, but it's supposed to be incredible. I don't know exactly which ingredients are in here or why. I don't know if there's red algae in this one or what, but 
All I know is that it's, it does wonders for your skin, and I'm sure it will. I'm currently using Renewed Hope in a Jar from Philosophy. So once I'm finished with that moisturizer, which I mean will be for a while, then I will go ahead and use this. But it looks like this. I mean, look how cute. And it even has a tiny little gold spoon on there, which, I mean, how elegant is this just to scoop out the moisturizer? Now, I'm sure it has a seal on it. Yeah, and I don't want to break the seal just because then I have, like, I think it's a year after the seal's broken to use it. And I don't know. I just like to wait till it's fresh to use it. I wonder why it's so hard to close. I don't know. That's weird. But I love, love, love that little rope. And then you can just stick that on there. It just looks great. I'll probably end up breaking into it one day. I might even use it tonight just once just to see. But it's hard with skincare products like that because you might, you'll see a difference. But you won't get to see the long-term effects for like two weeks. So now I hope these are, yes. Ed on air. Sophisticated, elevated, unexpected. This is Ed on Air, the seasonal collection by Ellen DeGeneres that reflects her passion for effortless design. Hello, friend. Thank you so much for shopping with us. Wasn't it so much easier to buy something for my collection on QVC than for me to come over and decorate your house? Stop by again soon, Ellen. That's cute. And I believe these are what I think they are. Now, if they are, it comes with two of them. Oh, I hate styrofoam. Yes, they are. These are artichoke candles, which I know sounds kind of weird. Like, why would you want an artichoke candle? But when you see them, they both look exactly the same, so I'm only going to unbox one for the sake of time. Oh, wow, the wax came right out. That's crazy. Um, anyway, here is what they look like. They look like artichokes. Um, these were available in green as well as white in a set of two. I believe they were, I think these were the most expensive. They were like $36 for two. But they are um, gorgeous. They're going to sit on my kitchen table. And while I'm cooking, or after you're done cooking, burn these. These will look great in the kitchen. They'll be amazing for... Um, Oh, interesting. They'll be able to, um, you know, just scent the room. And it does not smell like artichokes. It is lemon and herb. Oh, that smells really, really, really good. It's the crisp lemon. Like a fresh zested lemon. But you can definitely get, like, basil, bay leaves. Maybe a little bit of saffron and cardamom. Oh, that's really yummy. I really, really like that. That's not what I expected. And... You can use this, I mean, once you're done, it's literally just a figural. I mean, if you just want to display it just like this, you can. Or you can display it, um, you can put things in it like, you know, say your rings while you're doing the dishes. Or you can leave it out like this, you know, separate like this and put, I don't know, you can do so many things in it for the kitchen. But I love it. I think they're really, really cute and they smell amazing. And like I said, I got two of those. Oh, it came with a set of two. I was debating between the green or the white. I think the white was a, the best choice. Or the, the green was the best choice. I like the white, but artichokes aren't really white. So. Now, I have a feeling. I hope these are candles. The candles also that I ordered. Yes, they are. I don't remember ones. There's my I don't air little uh, pamphlet. But I mean, I've always loved Ellen. I've loved Ellen for years. So and I loved QVC for years. So when I found out that she was coming on QVC, how could I not, you know what I mean, check it out. And once I did, that was it. And she is hysterical when she presents on QVC. <gasps> yep, these are the same two. So these are like um, the artichokes. Except, they're not artichokes. They are. Oh, and by the way, her candles, she doesn't make the candles. Well, obviously she doesn't make them herself, but it's not like in her facility. She partnered with Nest Fragrances, which if you know who Nest Fragrances are, that's Laura Slatkin. Laura Slatkin is Harry Slatkin's wife. Harry Slatkin used to make candles for Bath and Body Works when they were good. Then he 
I don't know what happened. They got crappy, and then he left. So, her candles, though, are bomb, because I've had her brand of candles. I've had other Ed on Air candles that she made, and these are pumpkins. How stinking cute are these pumpkins? Like, they're adorable. And they are in the fragrance Harvest Pumpkin. They look just like this on the bottom. So, Ed on Air Harvest Pumpkin. And these, I mean, these would be great. Oh, wow, that smells good. It's just like a really creamy pumpkin. Not a whole lot of spice, that's for sure. Just a very, very, very light pumpkin. Well, I think this will be great, like burning in the bathroom on Thanksgiving. I love that idea. And they're nice big size candles, too. I believe these burn for like 50 hours. I mean, so 50 hours per candle? I mean, it's a nice size. And my thing is, with Bath & Body Works and Yankee Candle... Sure, they're nice, and I like them. I mean, I'm passionate, obviously, for Yankee Candle. That's that's what got me where I am today, was Yankee Candle, and I'll never forget them for that. But um, the jars are all the same. Every year, it's the same fragrance. And once you're done with the jar, I mean, sure, you can reuse the jar, but it's just that. What would you rather reuse? Something like this or a plain jar? I mean, come on. You can put, like, little cotton balls in here for the, uh, that's adorable. Sit this on your counter and put, there's a little notch, and put cotton balls in here. That is so cute. That's what I'm going to do. I like that. Or, like, little cotton balls. Oh, no. I just said cotton balls. Or, uh, cute tips. Oh, I think that's cute. So, anyway, I got two of those. And then one last big box. QVC. Now, this, I believe, has a couple orders worth of stuff in it. Mm. Don't use a knife if you're a kid. Oh. I have the window open. It is so nice outside. I just love it. Oh, it has a slip in it. Awesome. Well, first, again, I am partial to Ellen. And this is, these both are also from Ed on Air. But this, I'm obsessed with throw blankets. I probably have like 20 of them. I just love throw blankets. They're so soft and they're gorgeous looking. I love them. I put them on the couch. I have them on the bed. I have them, you know, in the living room, dining room, everywhere. Ed on air, Ellen came up with a throw, and this is a chunky throw blanket. It looks just like this, and it feels, oh my gosh, this one's super soft. Not as soft as the Berkshire ones that I have, um, which Ellen designed some with Berkshire too, but they look like a sweater. If you can see that, do you see the pattern? They look just like a sweater. And how nice is this as a gift? Already wrapped up, has Ed on air by Ellen DeGeneres on it. You know, it doesn't even say Ellen DeGeneres, so they wouldn't even necessarily need to know that you know i mean they could tell that but wow this is so soft and such a great gift i mean i'm gonna give so many throws for christmas this year because who doesn't need a blanket you know and every time you know they sit and watch tv and cuddle up with that blanket they'll remember that you know you got them that blanket i think that's super cool and i love this one this is definitely a great fall throw it's great for winter too you know i wouldn't put it for spring and summer because it's a thicker you know sweater to like throw but oh i love it it's awesome so this is a new throw and i believe it does have an ed on air tag on the blanket too which i think is pretty cool and then last but not least is a throwback to last year if you remember last christmas i made a video which i will post down below um when i reviewed the set of four ed on air candles from nest fragrances that she made for christmas well she did another set of four same type except these ones are all new scents so I'm really excited, and obviously I like the last four, so I ordered them again. Okay, let's see here. Yay, and the box, and they're all in that pretty box again. They're all in the pretty boxes. So let's start with this one. This one is called Fig and Pomegranate. And look at how pretty these boxes are. I don't want to blind you guys, but they're so pretty. Ed on air. They're just gorgeous. And this one has pomegranate and green fig blended with red currant and star anise. And 
And this is what this one looks like. Super pretty. Ooh, this is yummy. Um, I definitely get the pomegranate. Pomegranate is such a great scent. Like, I love the smell of pomegranate. I actually have a pomegranate lotion from Crabtree and Evelyn right here. And this smells super, super, super good. I love it. I don't get a whole lot of the fig, but I do get the green note. So I'm guessing it says a green fig. Oh, that's yummy. That's really, really yummy. It's a weird. I wouldn't expect fig and pomegranate to be blended together, but it's really, really, really yummy. So this is going to be awesome for Christmas. And these are also great Christmas gifts if you want to be, you know, nice and give these as gifts. But when it comes to candles, I'm selfish. Next is Sparkling Winter Berries. It's all the same type of box, just different colors. And like I said, they open, and then they have a little cardboard with a hole. It looks similar. Ooh. It's totally different. Like, I mean, I love that all four fragrances, well, I don't know yet, but pretty sure, all four fragrances are totally unique. You know, none of them are similar. And this one says, the essence of sparkling champagne mingles with hints of winter berries and oak wood. I can pick up on all three. You can definitely get champagne. You can smell the bubbly, fizzy, effervescent fragrance. You can get the berries, because berries, you know, are super popular in fragrance. That berry is yummy and then the oak wood is just this light light wood that really rounds out the fragrance wow this is yummy i love that i love this one a lot i wonder if nest fragrances has this or if i have to buy the whole set see that's the only thing is like if i love this fragrance so much and i like a big candle i can't i have to buy the set of four but wow i got so much stuff on <laughs> Next, Evergreen Woods. Now, I believe her scent last year was Evergreen Pine. Let's see if this is similar. I hope not. Yeah, it's the same. I thought they were supposed to be new fragrances. I mean, maybe from what I remember, it wasn't as... It smells the same. It just smells like a Christmas tree. Fresh cut juniper, blue spruce, and pine are enhanced with cedar wood and mandarin orange. It just smells like a typical pine scent. I mean, not that I'm complaining. I liked it last year, so I'm going to like it again this year. But I was expecting something different. I mean, there's not much you can do with pine. I feel like the my favorite pine scent ever in any fragrance, too. Needles and Pines from Lush Shower Jelly. You have to try that. It's amazing. And also, what's the name of it? Pine Cone and Lime from Yankee Candle. I don't even think they make it anymore. And then Cinnamon Bark. Now, again, this there was a cinnamon one last year called Warm Cinnamon. And I didn't even burn that yet. I didn't even burn it from last year. So let's see if this is the same. No, it's not. That Warm Cinnamon was definitely a lot warmer hence the name but it was a lot um oh this is yummy i like this a lot better this has warm cinnamon and nutmeg blended with ebony woods and golden amber i pick up on the amber and the cinnamon nutmeg just helps the fragrance with a spice and ebony woods i can totally get it now, it's not a cologne type scent, you would think, with the, you know, the woody type scents, but it's not. Oh, wow, this is yummy. I like this one, too. So, wow, that was really good. The only one that I'm disappointed with is the Evergreen Woods, because it's the same as last year, which I mean, I mean, I'm not complaining, because I liked it last year. I burned it. I mean, I liked it. So, anyway, that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know if you've tried anything from Ed on Air. I would love to hear from you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.